G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, today is the day we put together the simple little steam engine I made, the rotary valve steam engine, and finish it off. It's, uh, it's all painted, polished, done the wooden base, done the metal plate, so the plate will sit on the wooden base. Everything's ready to go. And for the sake of some viewers that asked, I've shown it broken down so that here is the rotary valve. You can see how that is done. That is basically just some flats. And that controls the inlet and the exhaust. That's an old car valve stem out of a GM six cylinder motor from the 70s. And that's basically high speed steel. So that'd be good. It probably wouldn't rust, so I could probably run it on steam, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to run it on compressed air and I'll make up another one. A future project out of all brass, that way you can safely run it on steam. Having oil in the water, which I do, it probably wouldn't rust, but anyway, I'm not going to take the chance. I'll just finish this off as a project. And, yeah. So it's a matter now. Put it together. So, okay. Let's do it. So I've got to remember how to put it together now. It's uh, it's pretty straightforward. The rotary valve is located. It goes in this way, and I've got a little grub screw there which fits into one of the original retainer grooves for the for the valve. So that stops any in in play. So the first thing I have to do is put the vertical bracket on this end. Now that one there is the one it's got a recess on one side to allow for the back of the flywheel. So that will go in there. Yep. Push that in. Then our rotary valve will fit in. Like so, we screw down our little grub screw. That's enough. That goes, actually this goes over the grub screw. So we're using 3mm Allen headed bolts. bring them down up. I'll have to line up the holes in the mounting plate before I can finish this off. All the brass work polished up nicely. Looks pretty good. So that's roughly how it's going to look. So there it is guys, we've got it mostly together. Now I've got to put the flywheel on this end. And it's still raining out there. <laughs> it's going to be a wet day by the sound of it. But it should scrub up okay I think. Everything's lined up good. As you can see I've done away with two mounts here. I've just got one vertical riser now. And that should be all it needs. And this gives it a more of a skeleton look about it. And uh, yeah bit of oil and she'll be good to go. Right, she's all together now. Oil was on. So now it's a matter of put it on the wooden base. Oil it.
There she is. All done, guys. Complete and ready to go. So, it's time for a test run. Yeah, that grabbed you. That fly will made a huge difference. That pretty neat, isn't it? I'm really pleased with that. And it's running on virtually no air pressure at all. So the whole thing's turned out remarkably well. How smooth was that, eh? Awesome. Just shows what a bit of flywheel can do. Well, there you go. I think I'll classify this as a success. It certainly turned out as good as I could hope for. And considering it's only made up out of just some scrap brass round stock, and a bit of steel, a bit of pipe, did it all on the lathe, no milling required whatsoever. It was pretty straightforward, and, you know, it wasn't difficult. Anybody could do this, anybody with a lathe, anybody that wants to make the effort, set their mind to it, do it. Don't think about it, do it, because this sort of project is a good test to see, you know, whether you can walk the walk or just talk the talk. And this is as easy as it gets. So I've classified this as a beginner's project, really. And, yeah, at the end of the day, have a go. Okay, that's it from me. I'll see you next time. Cheers.